I'm Rachel Bucky. Today we take a look at Bart versus the world, and boy, have I tried to avoid this one. It was developed by Imagineering, and it was published by Acclaim. And it was the second of the Simpsons games to be released. Some would even consider it a sequel to Bart vs. the Space Mutants. Which is not that far-fetched considering the music is very similar and Bart looks very similar to the Bart vs. the World. So the plot goes like this. Bart wins a round-the-world scavenger hunt from Krusty the Clown Show. Burns rigged the hunt to get rid of the Simpsons family by enlisting long-lost relatives to help him do it. There are only four stages to this game, and each stage is full of mini-games. The mini-games can change and vary depending on what stage you're playing. They do change in between the stages. A card matching game. A picture puzzle. Which I absolutely despise picture puzzles. You have trivia games. And my personal favorite is the slot machine games. The first level is in China and it's pretty easy. You explore the ship, you look for items, and eventually you just head for the exit. Chinese food, apparently, that's what it looks like anyways, that can give you more health. Next you're skating down the wall of China, avoiding obstacles, dragons, and people who are walking across the wall. Finally, you encounter the boss, which is pretty difficult. His pattern is pretty fast, and you have to hit him in the right moment. You also look for items, you know, as part of the scavenger hunt you're on. The first stage is not too bad. You may even think that, hey, this could be a decent game. That is till you reach stage two and you start noticing the crap oozing from the diaper. From here on is the start of the worst platforming game you'll ever play. Bart already walks slow like he can seal the head of Jebediah Springfield up his ass. His jumping, to be fair, isn't that bad. The problem is the platforms are either too small or too close for a super jump or too far away for a regular jump. And they didn't start off small with this crap either. You immediately come to a tower of platforms that I struggle to climb. I go up two or three blocks, slide up and fall ten. It's extremely frustrating to climb all the way to the top just to get kicked back down. Oh, oh. And it doesn't end there. Once you figure out how you're going to get to where you're going, you're stuck at a checkpoint for instant death. This is probably the worst part of level 2. Come on, man, you can do this. Come on. Yes! Stupid! <laughs> My god, level three is even worse. You start off the stage with the game giving you hope, like, yes, the worst is over. That's until you enter the unforgiving cave. I like to call it the entrance to hell. The platforms here are just as small as your character.
And some of them are even spring loaded. It's a lot of trial and error and a huge amount of patience. Get away, you stupid fish. God, we're so close to the end of this part. We're almost past it. If you're lucky enough to make it through, you're greeted by a moving staircase. And this thing gives you no indication of where it's going. And there was no checkpoint. You die, you start back over. And if you lose your last life, there's no continues, no passwords, just an endless cycle of bullshit. I give the music three points just because it's the theme song, but I deduct a point and a half just because it's repetitive and annoying. I give the graphics three points. I mean, it's not bad. I've seen worse, and the cutscenes are actually pretty decent. The storyline, I give two points, and that's just because it's only four stages long. Not that I would want to play more of this crap. In playability, I give three points for being too damn difficult, minus one point for no passwords, and one point for no damn continues. On a scale between Dust Collector and Weekend Classic, this game probably falls between LGN crap and better than nothing. Quick update, we're still giving away the free NES top loader to one of my subscribers. If you want to try to win it, all you do is subscribe because it automatically sticks you in my raffle if you have a chance to win it. Until next time, please subscribe, like, hit the bell notification so you never miss an update, comment any future video suggestions, and until next time, stay home, stay safe, and play games. Catch you later. I can't eat my heart.